So let's take a minute to talk about the, what I call, pregnancy vices, some of them being more significant than others, and that's alcohol, cigarette smoking, um, drugs, and caffeine. Now, let's talk about alcohol first. You know what, um, it's, it's not clear that any amount of alcohol, I mean certainly no amount of alcohol is good for a baby, but it's not clear how small an amount is okay to have during pregnancy. It's a conversation you wanna have with your physician, with your obstetrician, and ask, but it's not uncommon to say that it's okay to have one glass a day. Similarly, we'll move on to caffeine. We know that there are risks associated with caffeine as well, stillbirth and miscarriage. That said, it's, it's a fairly common recommendation that it's okay to have one cup a day of a caffeinated beverage. Now, if you ask me, um, if you've got the willpower and you've got the drive now that you're pregnant, um, that you're gonna commit to quitting, the best scenario is that you cut out alcohol and caffeine out of your diet. Now, for me, I was very fortunate because my source of caffeine was my can a day of Diet Coke. And that actually was how I knew I was pregnant was the day that I stopped craving Diet Coke and I didn't drink it for the rest of my pregnancy. Made it easy for me to quit. It's not always that easy, but that is a conversation you should have with your obstetrician. Now moving on to some of the more serious vices, um, we wanna talk about cigarette smoking. If you're a smoker, I understand that it's not easy to quit, but it's something you really should do, not only for yourself, but now for your unborn child. Not only can it have serious implications for a pregnancy, limiting the amount of blood flow that can go through the placenta and really making the placenta, which is where your, your baby gets all its nutrients, very unhealthy, but even secondhand smoke can put your baby at risk for all sorts of, of um, illnesses, ear infections, all sorts of things, and even increase the risk of SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome. And lastly, drugs. Now, I certainly hope I don't have to say that any sort of illicit drug use is not appropriate at any time, but certainly not when you're pregnant and can have some really devastating effects on an unborn child. Um, when they're born. And in fact, I've seen babies when I worked in San Francisco born addicted to cocaine and other drugs. But if you're taking any medications, even prescription drugs, those you want to discuss with your physician. Some you'll need to keep taking, some you absolutely should keep taking, but some you may not want to be taking during pregnancy. And when I say drugs, I mean anything, including herbal supplements, alternative medicines, um, all those sorts of things, count on the list of things that you should be discussing with your doctor to help ensure your health and your baby's health and safety.